Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we got him! <laughs> that was so epic. Folks, we're back with some more King of Fighters 15. So today, I wanted to talk about a character who I think has been a lot of fun to play so far. And I would recommend, if you're getting into the game, maybe give her a shot. And that is, of course, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth, I think, is not that difficult of a character to pick up. She's somewhat straightforward to play and she's very strong a lot of people consider her somewhere near the top of the tier list and she's also very very fun so we're going to be going through some of the reasons why i think she's so strong and so fun to play and then let's hop online and see if we can teach people the power of this classy lady but first guys i just wanted to ask if you could hit like on the video if you like this kind of king of fighters content and if you could hit subscribe if you're not already i would really really appreciate it the majority of you are not subscribed right now what are you guys doing out there? Go ahead and just hit the button. That's all you got to do. It really helps me out. But with that, let's jump in and talk about some of the things this character has going for her. So for one thing, she has a fireball, but it's a little bit unique. You can see it stays in one place on the screen. It doesn't travel across the screen. And also, it doesn't have a hitbox when it's leaving her hand. It only has a hitbox when it's fully out. So this is not really something that you can use like a normal fireball to keep the opponent away because, you know, they're just going to run past it and get in on you and, and murder you. So her fireball, you're going to have to think a little bit differently about how you use it. You can use it in, like, block strings, for example, like that, or like this as well with her C plus D. But generally, you're not going to want to think about Elizabeth as a zoning character or, like, a keep-away character or a projectile character, generally. I'd say you're going to want to stand at about this range with Elizabeth, this kind of close-ish to mid-range, because she has a few things that are really strong in this range. For one thing, she's got her standing D. This is a very, very powerful poke. This is gonna hit people like all the time. It's gonna catch them out of jumps. It's gonna counter poke them. Very, very strong tool that is gonna scare the opponent and make them sit still. And then once you have the opponent sort of locked there and not wanting to move forward or press anything because they're scared of this move, then you can start applying some of her pressure. So for one thing, her crouching A is very good. You can see her crouching A reaches very far farther than most and she can chain it repeatedly so you can pressure the opponent with this and hit confirm on hit you can also hit confirm like that or you can mix the opponent up with this she has an overhead quarter circle back plus c is going to hit overhead or the ex version of this move is also overhead and very fast so you can keep the opponent guessing am i going to do you know a bunch of lows or am i going to do an overhead so you can mix them up that way very strong tool once you've gotten them to sort of sit there because they're scared of this attack and then of course the third level here is going to be dash up throw so this is kind of your your general neutral game plan with elizabeth i would say is you know poking with this move pressuring and mixing up with crouching light and then the final layer of this is going to be throw. And one really nice thing about Elizabeth is that all her throws are going to lead into a safe jump. So if you don't know what a safe jump is, the idea is you can see I'm, you know, jumping at him while he gets up. That's kind of normal, or I'm hopping in this case. But what if he does wake up Dragon Punch or wake up Rising Tackle or whatever their invincible reversal is? You know, normally if you're trying to pressure them when they're getting up, you're just going to get hit by that. A safe jump is going to allow you to land and block the attack, and then you can get a nice punish. So if they block, you're going to actually hit them with the jump. But if they do a reversal, you're going to have time to land and block. So pretty useful tool. And again, she gets that off both her punch and kick throws. And uh, by the way, her punish combos are very strong as well. Generally, she is going to deal out huge damage for a pretty small amount of meter. Here's an example of a 50 meter BMB. It's going to look like this. Not bad. 36% for half a meter. And she can also do similar damage off of standing light kick. So anytime you hit confirm into standing light kick, you can go into something like this. One full meter, and we got 35% off of a low. So that's pretty good. Also good for punishes, and it's going to work from a lot of ranges. So her combos are not that hard at all. This might look like a technical combo, but I assure you it's pretty simple. 
And uh, any of you can do it with just a little bit of practice, I think. And then one last tool I wanna talk about is going to be her reflector. So quarter circle back plus kick is gonna be this reflector attack. And this thing is kinda nice because first of all, it is going to reflect fireballs. So she is pretty hard to keep out with projectiles. She can force the opponent to come to her. But also this is just kind of a generally good move because it's very active. It's hard to contest. If you just whiff this move, generally you're gonna be pretty safe. The opponent's not gonna be able to whiff punish it that easily. It also does build meter on whiff, of course, because it is a special move. So, you know, by throwing this out to kind of control space, you're also gonna be passively building meter, which is nice. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people play her in the first slot. She can build meter and she can deal a lot of damage without spending too much meter as well. And this move is also a very potent anti-air. So, you know, if the opponent is hopping around a bunch, generally, you know, you can kind of predictively throw this out. And if it turns out that they decided to jump, they are gonna get clocked by it. But if they didn't jump, generally you are gonna be relatively safe. It's possible to whiff punish this move, but it's gonna be very, very hard most of the time because it, it is very active and there's not that much recovery. The EX version is also a launcher, so you are gonna be able to combo off this EX version, even on trade or on anti-air. So very, very good tool. So again, hopefully this has kind of been able to illustrate to you some basic strategies for the character. It can get much deeper than that. She has a counter I haven't really talked about, but you know, this is high level stuff. I'm trying to give you guys the basics so that if you are new to KOF, you can get in there and start dealing big damage and having a lot of fun with Elizabeth because I do think that she is a very fun character. But with that, let's hop online. Let's see if we can get some matches in and show off what this character can do. All right, let's go. We found an online opponent here. We got the, the vampire outfit on. Let's see what we can do here against Robert. Oops, I'm alt tabbed. This always happens to me. PC version problems. All right, going overhead. Yep. Going low. So I'm just gonna throw out a couple reflectors here, trying to catch jumps, and it totally worked. Nice anti-air, hold up. Punish. There we go, some nice big damage there. Oh, didn't hit confirm, but here we get a throw. Safe jump. Nice, went for the throw, but he had the DP on lock, but he mistimed his meaty. All right, let's go, Elizabeth. Good start, good start. Gonna get something like 25% back here. All right, now we gotta deal with Terry. Unsafe. Let's get some more damage here. Overhead, good block. Okay, didn't quite get my combo there. Guys, I'm focusing so hard right now. I just want to make good content for the video. Ooh, that is such a fast overhead. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we got him! <laughs> that was so epic. I thought the combo was gonna drop for a second. Okay, let's go. Guys! Reflector. Nice confirm though from the opponent. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's gonna be back to full HP, but we still got two characters here. So yeah, I do think this is gonna be my final team, at least for now. Uh, I am gonna be playing in some tournaments soon, and uh, I think I'm gonna use these guys. Throw. It's gonna save my meter. Clark is going in right now. Nice anti air. Ooh, Schmix. We get a safe jump off this. Just kidding, I mistimed it. Go for the grab. Oh, too far. Nice confirm from the opponent. It's getting close. There we go, boys. Not bad, not bad. Clark brought it back here against Mai. And uh, I feel like that was a pretty, like, textbook start with Elizabeth there. We were doing pretty much everything I talked about. The pokes, 
the uh, the high low mix, the combo damage was real. That was sick, man. Let's see if we can find some more matches. Oh, uh, I like this guy's name, Uncommon Bodega Attender. <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, he had a pretty good win rate. I saw before the match, so nice and easy combo there. Ooh, rolled out on me. Nice DP. I'm gonna roll out of the corner. I'm scared. Anti air down heavy. Go overhead here. He wasn't ready. Empty jump low. Gonna go for the kill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Elizabeth. She's cracked. <laughs> Guys, I'm absolutely loving this character, but here comes Ralph. Everyone says that this is one of the problems of the game right now. You can see that god poke. His 5D. Oh, missed my confirm there. Unforge. My 5D is pretty good too, but it's not that good. Let's try to poke with a fire... Oh my gosh. This character's buttons are unreal. Let's go overhead again. Yeah, he's not ready. Ooh, he went for the, the hard call out there with the 5D. Don't think this is quite gonna... Never mind, it is gonna kill! I was wrong! Guys, I'm smitten. <laughs> I'm smitten right now by this character! She's insane! Caught him on the jump out. I'm ready for him to jump at me. Oh. DP. He didn't go for it. Okay, there's the jump. Man, I'm not quite getting the confirms off those jump-ins that I want. That was nice. That was smart. Even if I had reflected, I would have got cocked there. Oh no! Okay, the jump in awkwardly missed. You know, that wasn't my best round, I'm gonna be honest. I fell apart a little bit against Robert there, but... He's gonna be at about half health. Oh wow, like three quarters health? Okay, and then we got Clark. Oh, I went for Anti-Air Frankensteiner. Very, very powerful tool is Anti-Air Frankensteiner, but hard to do on reaction. Oh, just out of range for the grab. Whoa, nice poke. Hold up. Level 3 could happen here. Never mind. Drops. Into super. Oh, no. He missed it. Level 3. Gonna kill. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Off the Frankensteiner, baby. Off the Frankenstein. Guys, I don't think I could have asked for better games than those. Those were incredible. Ash didn't even have to come in and save the day. It was all Elizabeth. Look at that. Two O's on Elizabeth, man. Awesome. Awesome game. All right, folks. That's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually... those I had so much fun playing online just now. That was so sick. So hopefully I've inspired you to give Elizabeth a shot if you've been thinking about it. If you think the character looks cool. Because, I mean... Let's be honest, she looks so cool, like one of the coolest looking characters in the game. So hopefully you try her out and uh, let me know down in the comments what character would you like to see next. I love hearing your guys' input on this kind of thing and I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.